awesome family welcome to your april 2024 monthly reading so we're going to be using the fairy oracle card deck the sweet dreams and the isis oracle there's a lot of softness um, that is coming forward for the month of april this is the time where we have the sun in aries and taurus so one is the gatekeeper and grip worker of your garden of creation and one is the holder of that flame of that light that you are and that is meant to you know create on this earth now, i usually recommend watching this according to your sun sign or other placement of your chart and here's something interesting happened i was called to use the dice and look at some frequencies while I was preparing all this set for you. And what I saw was the first house, Capricorn and Saturn. And right away, it made me tap into the fact that I was personally now born a natal Scorpio sun into my progressed sun as a Capricorn. And when I looked at the cards of the frequency, removing addictions and the void, I right away had to check something I had not checked, which was the time in my life where I was receiving the guidance that I had to start to meditate, to really stop the chaos that was going on in my life back in 2011. And I went into 2011 and looked at my progress chart and it was exactly when my son started to shift in Capricorn and here we're saying that this is an invitation for you to know where you are in your son placement in your son's progression as far as your placement for the specific reading because there are messages here about maybe how to structure restructure your life so you can find more space for your higher self to come into physicality especially here with capricorn and saturn those are both uh planet and sign that relate to the root and we have some habits and i can tell you from my little story that I used to have such a fist against bowing to my higher self because I was in a place where I had gone through such struggle and darkness that I didn't feel that I could have the luxury for that space of welcoming, you know, um, stillness, which, you know, I was manifested a year later into a near-death experience, which was, you know, really where I totally shifted into uh, that character. I do not promote this as the best <laughs> way to go into your higher becoming and listening to your guidance. I was very resistant. I do have this in my chart that is very um, obvious, so I can teach others that are resilient in their ego battle and letting go of their struggle can help you with this okay so there's a lot of indication in april 2024 that the higher self wants to be heard and wants to move into embodiment and wants also this process not to be so chaotic okay and that's why i'm here <laughs> so what i would suggest is to look into your natal chart and look at your progression okay if you do not know what and how to do this please email me. I am the matrix oracle at gmail.com. You can find the details in the description box of that reading. So moving forward with this reading, I'm inviting you to like this video to support the channel to grow as much as it supports you in return. Thank you so very much in advance. All right, you can look into the timestamp, look at your progress sun and go ahead and check out your messages for April. My dear fire sun element. So if you did not check your progress sun, that's fine as well. But if you did check your progress sun, maybe that's your new placement. And this is for fire suns. So whether progressed or natal in Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Let's see what those messages are for you 
for April 2024. We're shuffling up together. And let's see what else. Okay. All right. I do feel there's two here. Maybe a third one as well. All right. We're starting with Isis and her guidance. Temple of Lapis Lazuli. Very much about truth here. Love it. Your soul is very ancient and holds the wisdom of star people from civilization with unique high vibrational awareness that can help humanity transition from a culture based in fear to a love-based community. You are here on this planet to be you to the fullest extent possible. Then you will help heal human culture so that the planet may thrive. I love this as an energy because April does have the fire quality at the beginning and then moves and shifts into the earth. So there is here an invitation to step into your sacred self, honoring everything that makes you unique. Let's see if we have a guidance here with the sweet dreams. Inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. This is so interesting, you guys, with this. I'm going to put it here because I feel this is really for... Why do I'm putting the house? I don't know, but I'll respect my intuitive nudge here. Um, but the removing addictions is part of the quantum fascia. Let me write that down. A healing playlist and you have three different frequencies and they're to support the release of some of the structured water that forms your fascia to actually release some of the triggers okay just like a little bit if you watch the beginning and introduction of this reading I was sharing about my my resilience and my resistance to bow to my higher self and to meditate, to listen to the guidance because I, I felt righteous in, you know, my pain and holding on to my pain and thinking that they were valid, but not seeing that I was guided to be reborn. Okay. And to let go of this. So there is here some sacred alchemy that is coming for you if you have in particular a sun natal or progressed in the fire um, archetypes let's see what we have here oh my god like we can't make this up the unicorn and the maiden communication with unicorn purification undercover action all right this is there's purification of your experience of your path, of how you look at it, of how you're going to be telling and retelling the story, okay? There's some intervention, divine intervention for you to find more beauty in the story because there's so much of that beauty that actually resides in you. I heard the word resilience, you know, how this, just like the pearl, you know, this beautiful result that we see in the pearls. I have a pearl here. That comes from the irritation of the oyster again and again and again. Through the movement and the sand of the water and the sand. And yet leading to something so precious. Okay. There's something here with Capricorn that put underneath. There's something as far as... So the archetype of... The Zodiac Capricorn is the Ascension Guide. You are being called to let yourself be guided because you ultimately have a connection. Some of you may feel maybe starseed connection. You're connected to naturally knowing how to navigate life more through the teachings of love, the eyes of love versus the reaction and trauma response from fear. 
okay? It's an unlearning period, I feel, for you, my fire placements. Let's see what we have here with the first house. Scared to fly. The right moment. Sensing out the right timing. Okay, so some of you, there's something here as far as... <laughs> I'm just smiling about remembering this this transition when my son started his progression in 2011 into the archetype of um, Capricorn. I had no idea about those details, but some of you, you're watching this, you have access to this. And it was, this is the Ascension God. This was a time where I was supposed to do this type of work. I was supposed to reflect on what was creating fear and how to maybe pause and as a result i remember 2011 actually um valentine's day i broke my hand my right hand and i could not work for months because i was weight racing at the time it was no way for me to work with my left hand I, I i couldn't and i was in a lot of pain it took me an extra i was so resilient to let it heal properly um it did not heal properly the doctor wanted to break it again <laughs> And I was like, no way. So it took an extra six months. So six in a year. So it's it's kind of like teaching you here with my little illustration, you know, that if you're not taking the proper time right now, this month of April, to sense where are your triggers, where are the things that you still have and hold fear towards, you might make it longer as a journey for yourself. Could have skipped a lot of aches and pain, but I personally, you know, watching my my journey, there was a lot of, you know, uh, uh, taking ownership for my pain as if it was righteous, you know? I was like uh, almost making myself proud to endure so much, but without trying to make it easier, okay? So that could be the no pain, no gain type of mentality. This was very much into the programs, you know, that we experience in this very constricted matrix on the 3D. So some of you, this is where you are called to step out from. Let's see what else we have here. Crystal magic, creation, dawn, and the beginning. I love this. I love the number 21 also that is a placement in Cancer in the angles of the Zodiac that speaks of you wanting to learn. There's some teachings that your soul knows. Some of you, it's, it's, it, it's in your DNA with uh, the Saturn. It's in your DNA, but it does require for you some type of stillness uh, some space, maybe some of you working with crystals. We're seeing also that there's, you know, here with the removing addiction, you could have crystallized in your body this way of being, this way of acting, this way of thinking. So I do suggest strongly working with this album and especially the addiction, it's for everyone. You know, there's a renewal here for the space that you need for your higher self to come forward in April. Let's see if there's more messages. Okay, there is. All right, once we allow this space, let's see what comes. Yes. Tell your story, legacy, write your wisdom, story keeper. You, this is, I find it so uh, cute and interesting how I'm getting those messages because just the same way that I'm using shamanic rituals, which is storytelling. Some of you, if you did not know, that's how the shaman actually plants seed, especially when, the, when people are younger, you know, the, the kids, with storytelling. So they're planted seeds of wisdom. And when they think about the story again, there's an emergence through the cosmic activation, through the years, through the personal experience that makes you see the story differently. And this is what I'm getting for you. Some of you revisiting some of the aches and pain, you might have tried to avoid it. 
but here is saying that you will find power this time in different ways, especially number four here in the angles of the zodiac is Aries placement, where we have collectively the North Node and Chiron activating the wound of powerlessness. If you have been feeling powerless, and that means sometimes having, you know, to put on a mask of superiority uh, so we can stand strong, but it actually is brittle inside. Uh, it's actually breaking down inside. So there is a new story. So I'm, I'm, I'm seeing how before, if I did not reframe my personal story, I could not see the beauty of that path that I walked. And some of you, your stories, that was, you know, through darkness and through times where you had to do this inner work, this inner alchemy. This is going to be your treasure. This is going to be part of your teachings to others in every shape and form. You know, whether your um, mom staying at home, whether your dad, that, you know, when you tell your story, your kids' stories at bedtime, you doing this work right now is going to create a new frequency, a new vibrational playground for this zodiac year to move and bloom in different ways okay all right let's see if we have anything else okay too much <laughs> all right i feel that maybe the dice want to give us another extra message capricorn again the moon and the third house okay some of you maybe uh starting rituals around the moon this is why i love uh reading for the full moon and new moon there might be something here we have a solar eclipse that's coming april 8th so this is something maybe you want to look at when it comes out some of you maybe you want to review the lunar eclipse march 25th um that indicate again that there's some type of fear because the root chakra and Capricorn is actually a yin um, expression. It's not a yang. Sagittarius is yang. So you're seeing here that this zodiac archetype is actually, this is why I love it because it is very much about mind control, all the angles of the zodiac for Capricorn. But because it's an yin principle, it becomes an ascension master. It becomes the one that can help you structure how to step, step by step, get out of your predicaments. And here, again, we're reminded with the third house about communication with the higher self on how to rephrase, retell, uh, change your speech. Okay, there's an upgrade in speech that I'm feeling for you at this time, my dear um, sun, fire, or progress sun in the zodiac placement. All right. If you need any support, please refer to the description box of this video. Astrology suggests those two frequencies. This is for my YouTube members. The void helps you with the process of renewal through the ego death. By the way, I know it's kind of hard to uh, subscribe. Uh, there's a limitation with using the app, the YouTube app. You would have to go on the on your computer or a separate web page to go onto YouTube not using the app. Uh, I think only Androids can actually join, not the Apple phone. So just a parenthesis here. Thank you so very much, my dear soul family. I'm sending you many blessings for April and a lot of higher embodiment and purification of this process so you have a beautiful zodiac year ahead namaste if you were born under a natal or progressed sun in an earth placement so sun taurus virgo or capricorn again natal or progressed let's see what is coming for the month of april 2024 let's see what we have for you all right Okay, this one, beautiful. Well, we'll read them after. Okay. 
This is interesting. You're seeing the similarity in the cards? A lot of telepathy here that I feel for you upcoming. There's a lot of embodiment of the secret self that wants to come forward as we're, you know, in that phase where we are through Aries and Taurus. Okay, there's going to be more, but we'll start with that. And put them on the side. Okay. Initiation. Wow. When you are being initiated into the divine mysteries of light, love, and power, there are moments of profound challenge. The key is to find the light within the challenge, the opportunity for growth that can transform any challenge into an experience of healing. With compassion and cleverness, you will not burn during your challenges. You shall thrive. Wonderful. All right, so initiation, I'm going to put it like that. And ooh, reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. So using others as a mirror for you to find more love, more light, more power, and an opportunity to probably, I would say, thrive within, you know, a space, obviously, of creation that you can only control to a certain extent, which is within and whatever field you're creating from there. Let's see what else. Ooh. <laughs> Secret doorway, working with intuition, second sight opening, dimensional doorways. Some of you may be working with portals or working with new psychic clairs. New gifts are being opened as you also work with, especially here, and because of that card, I would say listening to your subtle senses listening to you know the sing how your gaze you know if for example you're meditating and then when you open your eyes you naturally gravitate towards a certain activity a certain maybe music a certain thing okay some of you yeah even going to work but while you're going to work maybe there's your sight remember your sight is going to be called to pay attention to certain details they are meant to initiate you towards something new that you might have to discover about yourself. Catch me. Trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. You go, definitely discovery of something that is not known. So <laughs> if you wanted a month of April full of safety, this is going to be full of surprises, okay? <laughs> Um, let's see what else. Ooh, Riddle Fisher. Divination, seeking out and finding answers. So there is, in the month of April, if you were born with a natal or progressed earth zodiac sign, there's some surprises about what you hold within the self. There's an initiation of, of, of some type of light, a part of yourself that was dormant and that is awakening probably because of the alignment of the cosmos. So some of you, there might be a transit that is happening. There might be something cosmically. We're going to actually throw the dice for this. If there's a specific, is there something specific? That is activating. Ooh, we got Pluto. So some of you, you might want to watch where your Pluto is being activated. I'm trying to think about mine. Right now it's not coming through. <laughs> seventh house. It could be in the seventh house. It, what's interesting is that the seventh house, if you work with esoteric astrology, you're actually communicating 
between the lower self and higher self. And any type of battle with the ego and transcending it, it, it you're going to have some lessons if you have planets in the seventh house and i know this very well because i had a bunch of them <laughs> i had to learn the hard way i was resilient you guys um cancer for the divination this is i'm feeling you know what this is connected to your spleen the spleen is the only organ that is connected to all 33 vertebrae. There's some type of Christ consciousness activation. There's a DNA activation. Through the process, it's deep. Pluto is your master teacher of transformation, but he teaches you about power. There's something dormant that you could not awaken before dear earth placement sun or progress sun because there was some you needed to start trusting the guidance of your higher self and especially learning to work with what was being reflected you know it, it reminds me when i got this activation of my kundalini how I was being taught how to follow the energy of love. I called it the eyes of love. And I would feel that sometimes this energy would hop onto people and that they would happen, strangers would happen to say things as if just like birds, like as if they were catching something from my higher self and would speak it. And I would be, I would, I would recognize this energy very strongly that they were, not fully themselves, just like in supernatural movies, you guys. Some of you, you have that type of ability to sense this. And it's coming. Now, this was part of what I received preparing the reading. Removing addictions from the quantum fascia playlist and the void. There's definitely here what we're doing is some of you are struggling with receiving proper like ugh, you know what i let me illustrate this for instance i have some placement in sagittarius and some of you maybe you'll you'll have to look if you do have that there's a degree sagittarius from 15 to 20 okay where feeling wrong or feeling like we're making a mistake is going to be a huge struggle okay because we experience maybe being shamed, being guilted. We don't know how to deal with this emotion. We don't know how to have boundaries. Uh, there might be some reaction out of fear, out of anger, protection, whatever. Okay. So I remember that there was a lot of the things that I had to transcend from my natal chart that was structured in my fascia in the way that I was interacting. Okay. And it was making me stuck because when I was receiving my guidance from my higher self, I was doubting myself all the time. Am I wrong? I, the word wrong was just like very present in my feel. Like I always felt that I was wrong, that I was going to say something wrong, that I was wrong to be even here. Again, this was around a lot of childhood trauma. But I want to share this story because I want some of you to feel also the comfort of your own story, even in this dark aspect, but also how it can really lock you into believing certain things where I had to really allow my higher self to come through other people because I did not believe it coming from my inner self. Okay, this is where I was going with the story. <laughs> And I'm loving that I'm letting myself really be myself doing those readings because there is a Mercury retrograde in April that is speaking of making sure that you allow your soft side to shine through and that you don't care about others and having to fit in. Just making sure that you're allowing your softer side, your vulnerable side to be part of 
what you create, okay? So creating base and things that allow your inner self. Because some of you, those gifts and information, they're etheric. They're just like fairies. It's so subtle, you can miss it. So you're being trained to really catch the right moment through surrendering because there's a lot that you're going to gather. Let's see, once you move through those energies, you remove this, so you can just work with the removing addiction, you know, and just uh, even just the playlist. Some of you, if you have access to the YouTube membership, please use the void. This helps you um, transcend um, the difficulty sometimes to let go of the ego personality aspect. Okay. You also have the 33 vertebrae, especially for you, my dear uh, earth placement. That's part also of the membership. Some of you are curious about the membership. Please email me. Uh, YouTube has some limitation as far as subscribing. So a lot of people actually are wanting to subscribe and hit a, a, road, a bump in the road because they're limitation through the YouTube app. So if you want that, please let me know. My email is down below. Oh my God. Once we are attuning to the etherical senses, just the way that I described for you, the secret path, there's a path that opens. Ley line, mystical tradition, an irresistible pull down a distinct path. Some of you, if you were doubting where you were going, how things were going to unfold, there's definitely here some clarity that is going to come forward for you. You're going to start seeing more and more how to nurture your purpose. I'm hearing the word purpose. Nurture your purpose, nurture your gifts. Her special place. Find your own space inside and out. You see this? This is so important. Some of you watching this, uh, you're being, being initiated to, to embody magic, to embody the spiritual realm, the connection to spirit, the connection to you know, what is unseen. And that is so fragile, etheric, celestial, that you need to be able to honor those aspects within the self. Oh, and you get this too. Crystal magic, creation, dawn, and the beginning. Working with crystals, um, very beneficial through this time. If you, you know, know any type of crystal rituals, um, that would be great. Or cleansing your crystal under the moon, recharging them. Um, there is also for my YouTube member a crystal light and heart activate crystal heart activation. Some of you, you're activating into manifestation, especially in this phase, the fourth dimensional expression. You know, working from a place of compassion, of empathy, of receptivity that is so uh, sensitive, okay? And you're being initiated on how to maintain that field, how to maintain that crystalline body. There's an upgrade. I've been feeling this already at the beginning of this reading. There's an upgrade in DNA. There's an embodiment. The secret self is trying to really root into the physical self. All right, I feel that's all I have for you. Such a beautiful, beautiful energy coming forward. I would say knowing your chart and its challenges and its strength is really precious at this time for some of you if you never uh, got your chart reading. You have details if that's something you'd like with me. Thank you so very much. Namaste. If you were born with a natal sun or a progressed Sun in an air placement, so Sun in Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, those messages are for you. Let's shuffle together, shall we? Okay, I'd like to start with Isis. Okay, wow. <laughs> we have two cards for you. We'll read this after. Some sweet dream message. Okay, interesting. And oop, 
All right, so I guess we have to read the messages first. I'm taking everything as a message. This is an illustration for you guys. Um, you know, there's like a change of like, you're going to be changed in your habits, especially with an air placement in your son or progress son that I feel I want to illustrate for you. There's a call in April 2024 to tune into a very uh, fine version of herself that's subtle, you know, some of the extra senses. As some of you, you've already started this inner journey and this work on yourself and you're activating more and more your connection to your higher self and having those messages that are manifested in the universe. So there's a progression here and don't be surprised that you'll be called to do things a little bit differently, especially with... Um, this type of placement. So first we have the miracle of Isis. Isis offers a miracle healing. No matter how much you have struggled with a particular matter, no matter how impossible it may seem to imagine your life without this old wound, addiction, problem, relationship issue, or inner struggle, being part of it you are guided how to accept the possibility of miraculous healing. Let go and let the goddess be. So feminine intervention here. So the, the energy, the yin energy, mutable energy that knows how to destroy, remove. So there is a rebirth that comes forward. Interestingly, when I was preparing, and I'm doing this reading very differently than what I usually do, and this is part of tuning and creating the space where I feel personally almost like like a, a debutante, <laughs> let's just call it that, uh, where I just have to let myself pour my a version of myself I'm not really familiar with. And that can look awkward but that's actually meant for everyone to witness so they can actually find also their pace in trying new things that may look awkward at the, or feel awkward at the beginning. Okay, so when I was preparing the space, I actually was looking at the frequencies. Removing addiction came forward. Quantum fascia playlist, okay? Quantum fascia healing playlist and the void. For some of you, if you have access to the YouTube membership, the quantum fascia is structured with water, but that's called structured water, H3O, not H2O, okay? So some of you, you have to realize that certain habits that you've been rehearsing from the old story, it can still be living in some places of your body. And here we're literally being called in April, especially with an air sun or progress sun, to dive into this type of subtle healing, uh, starting to heal at those quantum layers and levels that I feel for you, being open to this type of understanding. Wow. You have miracle and you have divine destiny. Wow, this is beautiful. The divine warrior is within you, helping you to continue with a worthy path even during dif times of difficulty. When faced with a challenge, a true warrior will summon more of him or herself to the cause. It might be by bringing more wisdom, focus, or intelligence, or more surrendering into the divine. The warrior within has great inner resourcefulness and determination. So some of you, I feel that there is part of what you've learned that is precious, and you are going to want to know what are the parts that are not serving you out of the warrior within that you develop, that feminine masculine principle that you develop that helped you walk your path. Blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. So some of you, maybe you're a part of people that... Um, are connected to the blue flame. You know, there's some principles about star seeds being connected to the blue flame, some type of um, connection to the astral and other realms. 
I'm not going to deep dive within this. If that could cause your attention, then I'm going to invite you to start researching for yourself because what you will find, what type of information about the blue flame, flame is meant for you to find right now. Okay, so it's for you to find, not for me to tell you. Okay, I'm really doing things differently for you. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have for the fairy energy. Very crystalline energy. We're working on the crystal body, the embodiment of, you know, the fourth dimensional expression. So we can receive also some of the 5D consciousness. The gift. Wow, this month of April is definitely going to be full of surprises that you've been, you're going to manifest things that you've been wanting to manifest. A present, an offer, nurturance, growth, and potential. For some of you, what I feel is as simple as you're going to find people that can make you feel seen, heard, valued for everything that you are. I'm seeing this through the way she's looking at this little gnome, this is not about vanity or feeling pretty. This is about honoring someone that can see a part of ourselves that has been hidden through the struggle, but that we are starting to honor and that is shining through. There's something that is starting to shine through you. Okay. Ooh, all right. Silver sisters, time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy. So that's part also of what we were saying. And you see those color, very crystal-like. You're going to want to pay attention to your relationships, to your the, the situation you put yourself into. Are you, I have seen some of you like kind of gravitating almost like, like a reflex towards giving a helping hand into situation that there's no reciprocity. And some of you, you know that. It could be as simple as continuing to text someone that is ghosting you or not replying. As simple as that. Or always offering to stay late for work uh, when there's no extra pay or there's no recognition or not a thank you. Um, there's some pattern here that I can feel that is maybe block at times, but I'm seeing that because of so many things that are intervening in your favor, that this is meant to be removed, this type of energy. And you have to know that this is being removed because the light that you're holding within this gift is working in alliance with the cosmos. Some of you, if you don't know, this is why I create this Awakening the Stars Within album that covers all the planets because all the planets with the zodiac archetypes are connected to your chakra. So you're, whenever there's cosmic alignment, you cannot help yourself, but you're connected to the cosmos. So there's certain things that you gravitate towards and here you're going to be shining more and more light because from within there's more love, there's more appreciation and you're going to see this with more clarity. Fairy wishing well. <clears throat> My voice changed here. <laughs> Whoa. Manifestation, expectations, and offerings. I feel it might be... Okay, I know why now. Um, there is, for m the most part of April, um, a Mercury retrograde. Okay? And I feel that some of you... Um, the way you speak of yourself and the way maybe you even allow others to speak to you or not standing your ground, the energy boundaries are going to be strong. And some of you, you're going to want to really feel the empowerment of, of who you maintain to be. Some of you, you've maintained a really kind uh, composition compassionate composition, even through the dark hallway that you had to walk through, okay? So some of you, you have to understand that 
this is not something that everybody does. Some people do take into habits that are, you know, more protective and start becoming more narcissistic or start becoming more manipulative and things like that. So some of you, you there's something that you, you're needing to understand in April 2024 about yourself that you're, that you're not seeing that is a, a good aspect of you. Let's see if we're getting more messages about this energy. 12th house. There's something, <clears throat> wow, subconscious. I would say, you know what? I'm going to give you an easy little exercise here, my air, sun, or progress sun. Before going to bed, call the blue flame and imagine this blue flame inside of you and starting from inside of you and shining out or if it's easier from out in, whatever direction is easier. But I want you to have that flame within and without before you go to bed, okay, and claim that you want to have clarity about a certain dynamics, certain interaction, maybe certain gifts, or certain things that you manifested, because Sagittarius is a manifester, a strong activator for manifestation, okay, so maybe calling in the blue flame before you go to bed, that manifest in your life, that you can call in, so you can get more power. This is your master teacher of power and transformation. So some of you, if you've been struggling with boundaries, which is a very strong theme for Mercury retrograde, I do have for my YouTube members access to all the planets transit. You will have messages for your Mercury retrograde. I feel for you in particular air signs, this is might be important, okay? But I want you to have this small exercise just before going to bed, activate the blue flame. If you want to do more research about it, do it. But it will bring you more awareness of what you might be repeating. That is maybe like an addiction, okay? Because sometimes, yes, yes you know you should be saying no or you know you shouldn't be texting. But why are you then? There might, there's something beyond, there's something behind the behind. There's something that is a root cause that you want to get to the bottom of it. It's like, so ask, ask in this case for your subconscious. Oh yeah. With this, the grail fairy with fertility, the return of life, health and life cycles, definitely you are under this eclipse energy. In April, we have the solar eclipse for some of you if you want there's messages it's available to everyone for the lunar eclipse you might want to check that out and the solar eclipse in aries there's definitely a lot that we're removing of situations and or you know mindset about scarcity victimhood okay so you're you're changing a lot of things here my dear air sun or you know um, progress sun in the air Far, far away, creative daydreaming. I feel that some of you, maybe there was, because of the repetition of a certain pattern, you did not have enough space for you to imagine something greater, okay? This is interesting. I watched recently um, this new Netflix, Testament of Moses, I think. It's, that's what it's called. And how at some point they actually use exactly the words that I, I said, like um, how the people, re, the Ezra, Israelites responded sometimes to Moses is that they were so used to being enslaved and being struggled that they didn't have the space for the vision of something greater to come. So they had to rehearse and stay in the desert. A lot of different principles, the laws, so they could step out and have that space. So I think there's a lot of um, mind space you're about to create. Some of you, the toxicity could have been from a lot of influence, psychic manipulation. You might want to check out also, um, part of this is also in my empath survival kit. I have the quantum fascia and I have the super empath all mixed together. If that resonates and you're struggling with boundaries, uh, and you want the space, 
you're creating the space because you're meant to manifest. Very strong thing is in April. Is it going to be easy? I feel there's some challenges, but you're a warrior heart. So don't get discouraged by any of this. You have that power. You just need to have the proper tools and tools just like frequencies, just like having certain awareness of what might pop up is precious in your case. And that's why you're here. That's what I have for you, my dear air sun and progress sun. If you need personal guidance, you have all the details down below. Thank you so much. Namaste. If you were born under a natal water placement for sun or progress sun, those are your messages. So if you're a sun or progress sun in Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, those are your messages. All right, let's shuffle together. Let's get some Isis messages. All right. By the way, if you want, you know, the collective messages, we're in April through Aries and Taurus. So that's fire and earth. Okay, just saying, I don't know why, maybe some of you, there might be an extra message uh, if you are a water sun or progress sun. So let's see what we have first for you. Magic and ritual. Mmm, I love it. Effect in the external world can be created through inner practice. Heart-centered ritual can support your inner path in the physical world. You are encouraged to enhance your power with regular practice as you grow in grace, love, ability, and wisdom, applying your inner beauty to transform your outer world. Love this for my water elements. So you could have a message as a sun or as a progress sun. So you might want to watch both. Again, I let you tap into your intuition with water element. I'm not so I'm I'm not worried about you and your intuition. <laughs> You're pretty good with this. Okay. There's two there. It's actually three. I will take them all. Let's see. I've been really called, and that's been in this month of April. There's a lot of unknown and surprises, and it's going to require of us to be comfortable with looking awkward, like debutante, and, and trying new things and, and doing things differently. So I want you to be comfortable uh, with that as far as the fact of April being a new zodiac wheel. There's new creation. You're We're receiving you know, a new phase of the Zodiac. So some of us, if we're receptive to it, we're, you know, getting a fresh start on this. Um, and I feel that some of you, especially with my water placement, I didn't speak of this for the others, but detox, any type of detox and fasting, whatever version of it is highly recommended, especially if you're going to want to create more space for the new. Okay. Blue star, I didn't even know this card existed in here. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. This is so interesting. Knowing there's something and we'll pull dice for this. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding what's coming. Um, we'll, we'll use the astro dice for this. We'll pull more. Let's do it now. Okay. <laughs> All right. First house, Uranus and Scorpio. Wow. Okay, so Uranus, your master teacher of growth, evolution, how to do things differently. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't confirm what I said. The first house in esoteric astrology is about the embodiment of the sacred self. So how do you allow the higher self to move into your field? So here, definitely some of you, there's something in your chart that is being activated in the month of April that is creating this movement. So I can't connect to everyone's chart here, but there's definitely some transit, some cosmic activation that you're receiving. Scorpio is an archetype that is a messenger. It's the messenger between worlds. It's a bridge. 
it bridged the gap between what is seen and unseen or vice versa. <clears throat> Interesting with my voice cracking. Now, okay. Um, this Mercury retrograde is very much about boundaries, okay? Understanding your boundaries so you can allow your soft, vulnerable self to thrive because that's the only way you're going to receive certain information through softness and receptivity. That's why my voice cracked because Mercury is in the throat chakra. Some of you, if you're interested, I do have readings for all the transits if you are a YouTube member of the channel. If you can get to the membership, please let me know. Um, YouTube has some problems with their app. You can only do this through a computer and um, not through the app. All right, let's see what we have for Uranus. Abundance. Woo. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. Ooh, I love this. Okay, I love this, this, this. I feel this is here <laughs> so there's there's something there's maybe some type of ritual maybe some of you uh you have a little uh a ritualistic self a high priestess self rich self um that has a connection you know an ancestor or even just a part of yourself that has specific rituals around how you're meant to upgrade yourself through this phase. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Very strong. Choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. Interesting. You're choosing. You're choosing certain rituals that are meant to be a blessing for all. I feel that you're in April 2024, my water sun or progress sun. You're meant to really embody the water principles. Let me give this to you. Cancer is the archetype of the healer. It's very much connecting to the compassion, to the empathy, to having access to being soft and vulnerable in all aspects of our lives without you know, having to change ourselves and alter ourselves and still maintain proper boundaries and stay firm. Scorpio, we mentioned, is a messenger between those worlds. Pisces is a unifier. It brings it all together. So between the healer, the messenger, and the unifier, I feel there's some type of bubble of information the, uh, a, a certain principle that's coming for you that you know or meant to discover, you know, at a higher realm. Let's see if the fairies can help us, guide us through this evolved version of the self. This is very cosmic. This feels very mystical. You're entering a mystical phase of your life. Some of you might be also some transit um, that you're experiencing. Wow, three cards. Okay. The Grail Fairy, fertility, the return of life, health, life cycles. So this came forward also for the air signs. And I feel the eclipse season being still part of, you know, the... 25th of March, there was the lunar eclipse, and April 8th, there's the solar eclipse. And we have through all April this Mercury retrograde. There's something we're learning anew to give us more life, to feel fulfilled, to have our cup full. This feels like the Holy Grail. You're going to, oh, this is interesting, the number 25 in the angles of the zodiac is the angle that speaks of magic and rituals and and uh, spiritual wisdom. So you're getting certain, certain, uh, certain insights about your own cycles, how to approach your life in ways that honor your intuition and your sensitivity. It's in an activation. And some of you, because of that blue star here, I feel that it's going to be new. 
some of you you've rehearsed this and some of you this is new and it's the ones that even rehearse this this is still a new phase i really feel how the beginning of that new zodiac wheel in april is 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 influencing this reading overall it's being open to the unknown very much so once was innocent knowledge means change okay some of you maybe there was a way that you related to your abundance or your creative powers that was more limited because you were that reminds me of the reading of is it i think it's mars and pisces okay where there's different ways to create where it's more stemming from your heart because there is a human factor here it's almost like wanting to do this type of creation something that you're meant to create something that you're meant to activate because it meant to change a version of you that you're supposed to embody especially with the stockings here i feel like you know it's like an embodiment she's dressing up you, you you're meant to embody a, a different version of yourself because it's going to shine a different light that is meant to shine for others as well, not just for you only. But there's definitely some changes as far as your principles, how you approach your uh, rituals about making sure you feel safe in your boundaries, secure in your intuition, not overwhelmed. There's a lot of that sensitivity here that is being protected that you're learning how to protect and glimpse indigo rainbow crystal children and beyond i feel you're you're getting you're getting through this activation in april that is very much connected to the cosmos as a, a water sun or progress sun you're some of you i would say if you're natal sun in water this can be easier for you if you're progressed sun water this is new this is this life's progression you're new to the art of the water and you're going to want to allow this energy cosmic change and activation to show you how some of you you're going to start having maybe clairvoyance clear audience any type of clairs being activated but also having glimpse of a future that you never could feel accessible before because it needed you to go through whatever phases you had to go through i feel there's another card here from isis wow i love this i'm not i even looked at the card meaning but i just love the vision and the feminine figure <laughs> high priestess okay some of you you're you're tapped into like the water you're being taught how to connect to the unseen very much so with scorpio a mystery is to be unveiled a new clarity around your direction is unfolding be willing to wait for the full reveal but also recognize what is happening at this time you will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for what purpose. Oh, I love, 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 love this. Some of you, if you need personal guidance, because this is an initiation, especially I would say my progressed water sun signs, uh, I do recommend the chart readings or just the one-on-one -on -one at this time. If you feel a little bit lost with this, it doesn't seem that the universe wants to open more about this energy so i'm going to leave it there and in terms of frequency uh removing the addiction and part of the quantum fascia healing playlist and the void for my youtube members uh could be highly highly uh, supportive at this time thank you so very much namaste <music>